Alright, this mess. Lord Roderick. Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? And... Arthur Glenmore. I don't recall you being invited. Yet here I am. Roderick, may I have a word? What were you thinking? Bringing those soldiers here is sure to set my father off. As if he needs more excuses. I thought you knew better. They're here for my protection. You didn't think I'd just trust your father. I thought you'd at least trust me. I told you I'd try to talk sense into my father. And you did your part, putting up with Griff. I know how difficult that must have been for you. But it will all be for nothing unless you listen to what my father has to say. You need to take him seriously today. Which means keeping a level head, and thinking before you jump to conclusions. I'm here in good faith, aren't I? That doesn't look like good faith to me. You have an impressive stronghold, Lady Gwyn. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Are your soldiers expecting trouble? They're ready for anything. The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? My lady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. Are these your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Carl died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Torin serves Roose Bolton. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. That must be you. A <laughs> much younger me. Yes. You look a bit like your mother now. Is that your mother? Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to. When my mother was still alive. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful, gullible, and quick to anger. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on, we mustn't keep my father waiting. Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him. I don't like this. Don't show fear. That's what he wants. Ryan for Griff, that's still our plan. If anyone here should be afraid, it's Whitehill. Agreed. Let's have a look around, see what we find. All right, let's see what we got here. Mother, look at this. This ironwood's cracked. I'm not surprised. The White Hills were never any good at the craft. 
Oi! Step away from that! Are you all right, Mother? I don't know what Lud's planning, but I'm not leaving here without Ryan. Not when we're so close. I won't just turn and abandon him. Whatever happens, just follow my lead. I will. You have my word. If this goes badly, what do you want us to do? Protect my people. Get them out alive. I'll defend them with my life. And if it does come to violence, move to the walls and get behind my men. Rather talking loudly. <coughs> it goes. What's Lord Whitehill planning? He said he wanted a truce. And I believed it. I hope I wasn't a fool. Remember what I said. No fear. Right. Just follow my lead and we'll be fine. That's all there is to it, right? There's nothing else to look at. What's this? Roderick! Welcome to High Point! Lord, my men say you've been acting a bit tense. You're not nervous, are you? You kept us waiting, Lord. What can I say? I lost track of time. And besides, you had these Glenmore soldiers to keep you company. Father, please, can we just get on with this? called High Point a keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. If you ask me, I'd say he was envious. High Point is very impressive. It is, compared to your pile of timber. Lud, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast to family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? As a symbol of our goodwill? To family. To, to family. family. Now, tell us why we're here. The ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roos Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. So, in other words, you need our help. <laughs> Don't be so damn full of yourself. You foresters are headed for destruction. Yet, you know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you foresters survive. That's absurd. If you think you can threaten I'm us... I'm not threatening. 
I'm offering. So you're proposing an alliance? An alliance? I said nothing of the sort. He'd make us his slaves. Roderick, this could save your house. I'd consider an alliance. You see what I have to put up with? Just give him time. I told you... I offer you peace, and you spit at it. I offer opportunity, and you demand more. Need I remind you, you kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms, or I'll have Griff tear Ironrath to the ground. He'll put it to the torch! This isn't the way to Let get what you want. Let me get slaughtering your small folk! Griff's no longer in charge of Ironrath. What are you talking about? He's locked in our darkest cellar along with your entire fucking garrison. You didn't. You've imprisoned my son. He was there by order of the Warden of the North! You miscalculated, Lord. Now you'll pay the price. If you want Griff back, my brother returns home. We want Ryan back, and we want him today. Bring the boy! Ryan! Oh, we're gonna Mother. die. Roderick! You came, just like you said you would! <laughs> no! Father, no! What are you doing? You imprisoned my flesh and blood. Mine! Let him go! He's not going anywhere! Listen to her! Don't do I swear this. by the gods if you were He's a child! Uh, a son for a son! This is not what we're doing! Blame him! Not me! If you want to see Griff alive again... You think I give two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourthborn? I want to kill you right now! Because you foresters never learn. I'm not afraid of you! Just say the word! Kill me, and we all die! Let go of me! Everyone, please! I'll kill you! Go on, then. Do it! What? You think I won't? I know you won't. Don't test him, Roderick! Because for all your bluster, all your posturing, you care about your son. It's true. A white hill is still a white hill. You know what, Roderick? You're right. Uh. <clears throat> Ryan, come here. No. We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall. And the gods have mercy on us both when the Boltons come for their ironwood. Now go. It's been a pleasure, Lord. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Roderick. <laughs> It got some spunk. Ooh. I think I called. Yeah, I, uh, that was hard because I wanted to kill him, but all that bluff. Ooh, that was hard. There it is. The East Watcher. Glad I called that. Now listen up. None of those guards can live long enough to light that beacon. Because if they do. This invasion gets a whole lot fucking harder. Don't drop that. We'll need to take those two out first. How many men do you think are in there? Hard to know for sure. At least five, maybe more. To answer your question, too many to fight head on. Is that a harpy? Of course it is. Those golden tits are everywhere in this bloody city. If those guards light the rope, the fire travels up to the bowl, and the whole city will know we're here. So we stop them. Aye. Come on, let's get moving.
Pesca. Hmm. It's nothing. Just forget it. Fine with me. Great. I'll take him. I've got the other one. Just keep an eye on her. I don't need him to watch me. Hey, prove it! What have you heard? Just sit outside the gates waiting. Pfft. Mother of dragons. She wants to scare us, but she won't do it. We'll split up. One group will go high and try to climb over to the other side. What about them? That's why someone needs to stay down here. They get behind cover and shoot the men up top. Just don't let that one see you. So, which will it be? We'll go over the top. You just make sure you clear the way. He's a good shot. You hear that? herself the breaker of chains. I think Croft got the easy job. on the roof. We'll take care of it. I'll get rid of them. I've got it. Go. I have to time this, huh? You'll ruin it. I know what I'm doing. Doesn't look like you do. <laughs> little rat. Did you say something? Well? I said you're a little rat. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> you keep doing it, Bethany. You tell me when you saw it, Craig. It won't be. Well, you will have to first see how you like it. All clear down there? Hey, you listening to me? Ah, that's so cool. They're still up there, on the right. Take them out, and you'll be clear to secure the beacon. They break through. I'll keep them busy. <clears throat> we 
we can finish this. Just look at them. Two men. We've dealt with worse. Let's rush them and be done with it. What about them? You afraid of a couple of crossbows? We took on the Lost Legion by ourselves. This is nothing. We end it. We can get out of here. Me, you, Croft. All of us. We stick to Croft's plan. Take care of them first. All right. Deal with these people first. It's better to be safe. Seriously. I know we've done a lot, but come on. The torch! Ah, he's going to light the beacon! Beska! All out! I gotta go, 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 go. Somebody's got to hear that. <sighs> oh, I can't believe you did it. Croft! Croft! Quit your whimpering. I'm not dead yet. You hear that? It's starting. Ooh. Last. Back at High Point, I wasn't sure your brother would survive the day. He nearly didn't. I was terrified when you called Lud's bluff, but you knew exactly what you were doing. And now Ryan will be coming home. He'll sleep in his bed, eat at our table. He'll be right here, where he belongs. I knew Lud would never yeah. sacrifice his so A white hill is a white hill. Just like a forester is a forester. You made your family proud today. My lord, look! Where are the gods? Well, that's not good. I knew something would happen. Dahlia? Sir Ryland! Where's my sister? Elena! Where's anybody? <laughs> oh. Ramsey. Wait here.
<laughs> Come on. Don't be so dreary. It was a joke. I'm sorry, I... I should have laughed. Or maybe you think you can do better. Of course not. I, I didn't mean to... Perhaps a song instead. I hear you've written a touching song about your... My game. Don't crash on me now. Give it a minute. Dead brother. Am I in it? Let's hear it, shall we? No. No? I won't. I... Roderick! Roderick! Welcome back. Lord Ramsay, welcome to Ironrath. How... Courteous. Now I know where your sister gets her manners. We've had a lovely time together. Haven't we, Talia? Say it. Say it's been lovely. It's been... lovely. And you. I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. This word ends now. Oh yeah. Let's see what goes on next. Ethan was the first forester I killed. Doesn't have to be the last. You don't know what you're in for, Garrett. What you're asking my brother to do. The North Grove isn't what you think it is. You claim to be a leader, yet your own people do not respect you. But we did as you commanded! These aren't cell swords, Asher. They're killers. Roderick! I can't believe I trusted him. I know you and my brother were in contact. Perhaps he told you things. Things that might prove his guilt. Perhaps you are not to be trusted either. Oh, you're not listening, Garrid. Shh! Let's see what we got. You and 87.3% brought Finn along, which is kind of obvious. You and 38.8% showed mercy to Griff. You and 12.5% revealed. Okay, I should have lied there, but whatever. You and 35.2% ordered the Glenmore soldiers to come to High Point. You and 44.1% saw Pesca. Oh, all right. Well, that was uh, Game of Thrones Episode 4. Um, thank you for watching. There's going to be more to come. Sorry about the delay again. Hurricane Irma, you know, threatening where I'm at. And then we dodged another bullet. So hopefully, uh, I mean, I saw another couple storm brewing, storms brewing outside So in the uh, Atlantic. So... We'll see what happens there. Stick around. I'm still around. And you all have a good day, night, whatever it is. Take care. Bye-bye.